dry, barren landscape of southeastern Antarctica lies a large zone with two intriguing and paradoxical properties. First discovered during the Victoria Land Traverse between 1959 and 1960, the seismic and gravity data collected during the expedition led to a hypothesis that the region is the site of a large impact crater now named the Wilkes Land Anomaly. The area features a large land depression and a negative gravity anomaly, which is to say that the gravity in this zone is measurably weaker than normal. The proposed crater is around 150 miles wide and has since been upgraded from a possible to probable impact crater. Further research into the anomaly revealed the land depression may be significantly larger, at around 300 miles wide. Within this larger area, they discovered that there is a small but significant concentration of mass, leading to a larger gravitational pull, named the Wilkes Land Mascon. It's speculated, though unconfirmed, that this crater could be the impact site responsible for breaking up the supercontinent Gondwana.